Hi friends, uh, welcome to PL SQL video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about uh, dynamic cursors types that is strong ref cursor and weak ref cursor. So previous session I have already explained about the uh, weak ref cursor. This session I am going to explain about strong ref cursor. So when you are using a dynamic cursors, so dynamic cursors concept is fetching the data when you are reading in your program. Okay, so it won't connect your database before reading that is the concept of dynamic cursors okay then strong ref cursor means when you are creating this pl sql type ref cursor if you are using a return if you are using a return row type that is called a strong ref cursor if you are not using a return that is a weak ref cursor weak ref cursor so here is i'm going going to explain one example here i'm creating a type ref cursor type here you can see and the ref cursor is a keyword then return return is a keyword then i am returning this data through my row type then i am declaring a variable for this ref cursor you can see and uh, i am declared one more uh, row type to store this data so here what i am doing i am opening my uh, ref cursor with for the select statement you can see so this is called dynamic cursor so dynamic cursor ref cursor with return means a strong ref cursor then i'm fetching the data from this cursor and the storing into my record type then i'm printing this so this is the way we can go for using strong ref cursor okay so if you are using a return if you are using a return that is strong ref cursor so i'm fetching this and i'm using return keyword it will return the keyword row type row type may be type so if you are going for single columns you have to specify the type if you are going for multiple columns specify the row type so that is the entire table i am fetching the data from this table and uh, while opening i am giving my query you can here you can see so compared to normal cursor so dynamic cursors will read the data from database dynamically so normal cursors what will happen if you are creating a cursor it will create a cursor area and it will fix the data from database and it will store into cursor area that is SGS system global area but if you are going for dynamic cursors it won't read data from database directly only when you are reading the data that time only it will read the data from your physical address location that is concept of dynamic cursors okay and here if you are using a return so that return it will store into type or a row type then we will call as dynamic ref cursor with strong ref cursor okay then so whenever you are using this here i am giving another example sys ref cursor so sys ref cursor is another uh, variable type another row type variable type it is not a type it is a row type pl sql type so you can store you can store entire table data into this and you can use this as for data processing so here uh, this is my uh, csf cursor i'm declared this variable and i'm opening this and this also dynamic ref cursor okay ref cursor sys ref cursor sys ref cursor directly it will store into row type data directly it will store into row type data so no need to create a variable for this so directly we can use as variable this one okay that's the difference you can find from ref cursor here ref cursor i'm creating type and i'm creating variable here you can see but sys ref cursor directly i'm creating variable for this and then i'm using this so this also you can store entire uh, table type data and you can use for your data processing it will give a better performance and if you have a function if you have written multiple values you can use this csf cursor so i will show another example with the csf cursor so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much